Welcome, Hope football fans, to our post-game interview with head coach Dean Kreps. This is right after the Carthage Hope game, Community Day. Final score here today was Carthage 26, Hope College 19. Coach, another tough loss here this afternoon at the stadium. That was a very disappointing loss. That was a game that uh, we should have won, could have won. Um, we had the lead with nine minutes to go in the game. We needed to get a first down or have the defense get a stop. We didn't do either one. Uh, we threw an interception, let them score, and uh, that really made the difference in the game. Well, the game was even. If you look at the stats, uh, Hope had an edge in time of possession. They had a slight edge in, in yardage overall, but in the end, the final score there on the board, 26-19, uh, uh, speaks louder than anything. And it was a, a good effort. You consider what happened last year at Carthage. gave up 70 points. Rather embarrassing loss came and really acquitted yourself very well this afternoon and had uh, victory right there seemingly within the grasp in the fourth quarter. Well, Carthage is a quality team. I thought they played well. Um, I thought we sure closed the gap on them from a year ago. We did a lot of good things. You know, that's the thing with sport and football especially. You know, it's never as good as it seems. It's never as bad as it seems. Reality falls somewhere in between there. And I think we're going to watch the film tonight and tomorrow and see that we did a lot of good things. But uh, we only get 10 chances in football, and uh, we gave up one today. Yeah, a tough defeat last week at Wesleyan, 28-25, today 26-19, both very competitive games. Let's look at some of the positives. Let's take uh, hope on the offensive side of the ball this afternoon. What were some of the things you liked from the Flying Dutchman? Well, Adam Loveless, after missing uh, about two weeks of preseason camp, I thought was back to form today. The second half, he really stepped it up, gave us an inside running threat. Um, you know, Kyle Dietrich's a threat all the time. We just didn't really get the ball to him today. We know he's a good player. I thought we mixed it up. I thought we did a lot of good things. Um, you know, it's just we fell short, and uh, you know, we have to make plays uh, when the time requires it, and we didn't do that today. I thought we had good balance. We've talked often on these shows about balance between the run and the pass. I thought that was uh, very fairly equitable today. Uh, Adam Loveless, Tim Elzinga, Josh acting off a few times, Chris Faye scrambled for some yards on the ground. You gained a lot of yards through the air at times. A few uh, turnovers, interceptions yeah. hurt you. And, uh, you know, in the end, in a very close game, those are the things that really come back to haunt you. I thought for the most part our offensive line played pretty well. Um, you know, we didn't give up a sack last week. We knew we were going to get a lot of pressure this week. They guess a little bit. Uh, they blitz, they twist, they stun inside. And I thought for the most part we still picked it up. Um, we got pressure a couple times and, you know, made a couple bad choices and turned the ball over. And one of those resulted in a score, and that's really the margin in the game right there. And defensively, I mean, last year the Redmen rolled up 70 points on the scoreboard. It looked like a pinball machine, I'm sure. Today, the Hope College Flying Dutchman, the defense, they've only got two scores to go, uh, you know, rather late in the fourth quarter. But unfortunately, they come up with two big touchdowns in the last eight minutes to, uh, to pull it out. Our defense is more mature this year. I thought we stepped up a little bit, uh, challenged a little bit more at the corner position, um, and that's what should happen with these veteran players. Um, they should not be afraid. We shouldn't have to back off. We've got to roll up and play some bump coverage and mix it up a little bit, and I thought we made some strides there today. Um, but still, the third down, um, we've got to get stops there, especially late in the game. Seems like we've had a hard time getting off the field third and long and did again today. Special teams, we've got to mention an unfortunate injury it seemed like in the, in the game. Steve Hayes, camp your fine kicker and punter, who uh, had his streak of uh, PAT snap today. and That uh, didn't help our situation either, but uh, seemed to injure his knee on that uh, kickoff there in the fourth quarter. Yeah, we thought maybe he'd gotten chopped, but Steve really just planted and his knee buckled, and so uh, it didn't look good, at least in the initial analysis of it with the doctor on the field. Um, if he's out, that uh, changes things for us because he's been a very solid kicker. His punting was outstanding last week. Um, we think we have a, a good freshman in Merrick Lacey who will step into that role this week, but uh, Steve's a good one, and we're going to miss him for a while. Well, Hope uh, has to bounce back next week. We're here at the stadium, 1 o'clock game with uh, UW-Eau Claire. And, uh, you know, close is uh, good in some things, Coach, but not necessarily in football games when you have the smaller score. So we wish you well next week in the Flying Dutchman. I know your staff will work hard, and the kids will work hard to get back on the field and practice hard and come up with a good effort. And we just want to talk uh, with bigger smiles on our faces uh, next Saturday afternoon after the game. That's right. We hope everybody comes out, and uh, we'd love to see you here next week. Another home game, Wisconsin-Eau Claire, another worthy opponent, and uh, we'll have the Dutchman ready to go. Well, that's the end of week two, folks. The final score again here on the 44th Annual Community Day, Carthage College 26, Hope College 19. 
See you next week. Go home. <laughs>